Welcome back, everybody. Thank you again for joining us. This morning is back on, and by now you definitely should be wide awake, out of bed, and ready for everything we have in store. If you just tuned in, then guess what? You didn't miss anything because we are now kicking off. We are able to catch up with Davina Lee because she recently launched her film, the short film, much anticipated at that, The Knot. So listen, if you were not able to be at that, it was exclusive, but we got you the inside access. So let's check it out. St. Lucia, get up, rise up, wake up, guess what, because this is hot off the press and I am here at the official launching for The Knot. Now I know it was very much anticipated, I have the fabulous Davina Lee here with me, of course she is the director, you know, and th this is her brainchild, her baby, so Davina, we are here, the launch has happened, how do you feel, you know, that this has finally kicked off for you? Yeah, well, it feels it feels good that people actually enjoyed it. I mean, people tell me that they love it. It's only a short, so hopefully next time I can do a feature version of it. So it was a lot of hard work. But I'm happy it's all done, and the final product, I guess, met expectations. Now, for St. Lucia watching right now, who may not know the full concept, can you just explain and let them know exactly what the storyline is for this short film? Okay. The storyline is basically about two people who are in love, like we have that in St. Lucia, you're in love, the person, you think that the person is going to leave you, so you decide you're going to tie them. That's basically what it's about, getting tied. Now listen, we, we know in our society we hear these stories all the time, right? Now what I really like about that is, of course, this is something relatable. It's something that St. Lucians can connect with, it's in our culture. So what about our St. Lucian culture, because I can clearly say, well, hopefully I can say that, you know, it's your, our culture influences your work as well. So, you know, what about it really just inspires you? Well, I think in the Caribbean, there is so much texture in everything, like in our surroundings, like even like a rusty galvanized, I mean the trees, like, I mean everything, um, the buildings, the animals, the language especially, like inspires me. So I try in my movies to use like the way we speak not just the Creole, but the way we speak in terms of the slang and everything. And I wanted to in incorporate it into anything I do, I do that. But this is a great moment. Of course, people are clearly enjoying the festivities as well. And I've been hearing good feedback about what they've seen from the film too. But I think at this point, you know, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. But now, if you from a director's standpoint, you know, what were some of the challenges that you faced trying to put this together? Well. Finance is always a challenge. Um, we are very thankful that the OECS and European Development Fund came on and supported the project, but it still wasn't everything that we needed. So in order to like tighten up here and there and see where the more money would go, where less money would go and so on. I mean, um, everything else, once you have a good team, it's not really, you don't feel the burn, I should say, too bad because like the team gets you what you need when you need it and I think it's very 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 important to have the right people um, working with you yeah that's what I have to say about that <laughs> yeah now you see that's where a team comes in I think at this point it's about time St. Lucia we meet the cast all right guys so here I am with part of the cast and crew and we're gonna get to meet the cast of the knot so I'm gonna go down the line I'll start with our tallest guy who I heard was the biggest set diva but we'll see we'll find out they let us know if that's true or not. <laughs> not true at all. Hi, I'm Naja Simeon. I play the role of Gerald in the movie. And tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, my character was a guy who slept most of the time on set. But the background, Gerald is a, a bank teller in the movie who is um, in a relationship with Gina right here. And they're going through some turbulent times in their, in their relationship. I'm excited to see this too because we've seen Naja's family, he's been on this morning in a different light. So we know him for his artistic work, so this is another way to see him shine. Now of course this is my real good friend Justin. Hi. It's so nice to see your hair. So this is your guy. Tell us about tell us about your character. Mm -hmm. My character, well I play Gina, who's Gerald's girlfriend. Gina is a very insecure young woman and she's from the south of the country. She came up to cash trees to be with Gerald and her issue really is fitting into his world because Gina didn't finish secondary school and to her Gerald is her world. She's with this guy who's a bank teller and I mean you know for girls who it's prestige so she's competing with fitting into his world his friends don't like her and you know her family's telling her this guy is too good for you which is why she went to the means that she went to to keep him in her life yes. 
Now you see why we say this story is relatable because we hear these stories all the time in our culture, you know. So that's what I love about Davina's work. So right here, we're still going down the line. People who really made the film go. So please just introduce who you are and of course your character. I'm Jacinta Lee. I'm Gina's mom, trying to put some sense in a stubborn head. Yes. Not sure whether it worked. <laughs> but you guys will have to watch to find out if it worked or not. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go down the line still last but definitely not least. Okay, my name is Steve Anius. I play the role of the Garde or the soupseer. <laughs> As you know, St. Lucia is abound with, with this type of... Um, uh, you have to go to a garden and so forth. So my role was to untie the knot that was tied, so to speak. So you see, there we have it. So he was also undoing the works. Now, in putting together, though it's a short film, there's always so much hard work and effort going in behind the scenes. So how was it for you, you know, and the production aspect? My, my role was a very... I was there for just for a few seconds. But... It entails a, a, a lot of um, cuts and, you know, go back again and <laughs> check. So I could imagine for Gina and Gerald, I mean, it was a lot of work, you know. Take one, take two, take three. Although the takes were perfect, but, you know, Davina always wanted to make sure that she had as many takes as possible to get to the perfect take. So it was, it was really, really, really good. I really enjoyed the company. Now, you know, I just have to throw a fun fact as well. Though she plays Gina's mom in real life, she's also Davina's mom. So if you didn't know, I filled you in, all right? So that was Davina Lee, and of course, that was the cast and crew, the movers and shakers, everybody who came together to make that film possible. So right now, all we have to do is sit tight and just wait until we get the official word that it's out right here in St. Lucia. We'll keep you posted on that. We'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. This morning is back on. I'm Chayla Mendez, your host, and we're getting into the Soleil action. The main nights have ended. Of course, there's still some more action with the fringe events going on. I know the Voices on the Bay goes on until Wednesday. That's the climax. However, the initial night for Jazz at Royalton, which was another history-making moment, was amazing. And that featured Boo and the Young Stars. So we were able to catch up with them there. Let's see how it went down. Hey St. Lucia, good morning. I hope everybody's feeling good. Thank you so much again for being part of the family. Very familiar face here with us. We have the Ronald Boo Hingston. And it's a very, very special night because it's jazz at the Royalton. It's the first time happening here at a really, really gorgeous location. But of course, the debut night for Boo Hingston and the Young Stars. And that was much anticipated. No, uh, young Stars is not two words, you know. It's, it's I, I may have a word, Young Stars. Like Young, young Stars? Stars. Oh, young Stars. Okay. So now we understand <laughs> how it came about. Okay, so I get that correct. So the Young Stars. Yeah. Perfect. So how was it? How was the night? I mean, so far, based on all the buzz around, very good feedback, which I expected. So how do you feel about the performance? Oh, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I'm, I'm happy about the response. Um, it was a, a lot of work. Not that... Um, it was a lot of work in the sense that it's putting the whole thing together because I know these young people are good. I, I believe in them. I know they can excel at this. But just coordinating the whole thing, that's where the challenge was. And I think it came off really brilliantly tonight. Great. Now, how is it, of course, you know, you're up there with them, but, you know, actually just seeing them do their thing on the stage in the moment? It's, 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 it's a feeling that is difficult to to explain. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get emotional and, and I have to control myself so, so the chairs don't roll on my eyes because right. I'm so proud of them, man, you know. Yeah, because I mean, in rehearsal at the band room, it's one thing, but you know, you, when you get out there and it's stage time, it's a whole different It's thing. a whole different ball game, you know, you have, and then you have to make sure they don't get nervous, you know. So, but but they did really well, man, you know, and, and you know, it's, it's like I said on stage, um, when I write a song and I give it to these young people to sing, they are of the impression that I'm doing them a favor, and I'm, you know, they're doing me a favor by doing justice to my, to my work, you know, because they're very, very talented. You know? We need to have, in fact, I'm going to plan a day when we guys are going to do a, a whole 
a big show. And there's going to be St. Lucian cuisine, St. Lucian dance, St. Lucian fashion, mm -hmm. St. Lucian, what again? All St. Lucian music, mm -hmm. St. Lucian dance, poetry, yeah, poetry, everything St. Lucian. And just put a whole big show together. Nothing out of St. Lucia is going to be part of that show. And I'm telling you, St. Lucians are going to be shocked to see what we have in this country. I look forward to that because I know through the show again we've been meeting a lot of this low-key talent that we have here. That they just don't have the avenue. So St. Lucia, you better wait for it because you will be blown away. And in the meantime, we're going to continue just enjoying you know, and basking in the bliss that tonight was successful and you missed out. But hey, you're going to enjoy the footage that I have for you. Boo, thank you so much again, as always. <laughs> and I know we're going to catch up soon because things are Absolutely. still unfolding. So you guys need to just keep watching. Yeah. All right, guys. So I would like you to meet Kivon. Now we go way back. We're good friends. Yes, yes, but I'm yes, so are. proud of him because, again, on this amazing night, a lot of first hair happening. First time at Royalton, Soleil's first time unfolding, course, you know, and now with this production with Boo Hingson and the Young Stars. Of course, of course. It's Kivon it's was it's also it's part of it because it was the fusion of, you know, our poetry as well during the sets and in between the sets. So Kivon was one of these persons just bringing that action. So how did you feel tonight being part of this production? Honestly, it felt amazing. You know, what I like about these things is that when you blend um, poetry and music together, it always creates like this unique atmosphere and this unique type of performance. And so yes. for Boeing to recognize this and, you know, incorporate us in his act, I mean, all, all thanks to him, I feel honored to be a part of it. And just a good experience, you know, being a part of it. You know, and yeah, major respect at that too. Mm -hmm. And for you now, because yeah. of course you're up and coming, I'm seeing you growing and this is just something amazing for me. Mm -hmm. You know, before poetry and all of this was a little bit more low-key underground and I always felt like if you're not in a certain circle, mm -hmm. you not know about mm -hmm. it, but mm -hmm. now it's here, it's mainstream. Yeah, it's, coming, it's on the stage. So how do you feel now that more avenues are opening up so that, you know, this can now be exposed and just let everybody feel what you guys are doing. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful vibe. And especially for me, seeing as I was one of those individuals that was just in the background, you know, at, probably like at Head Funk, you know, just doing right. a performance. And seeing now that this thing is being recognized as, okay, we don't play this on jazz main stage, you know, or jazz side stage. And, you know, just the recognition that you get from that, I mean, that's beautiful. And to actually be one of those individuals, you know, actually there at the front of it, you know, just pushing it is, I mean, to me, that's just an honor, you know, it really is, it really is. Now, Shan, the evening was amazing, raving reviews. I heard great reviews about what you did as well. So how did you feel about your set and your performance? So I, I performed two pieces this evening. And, you know, just having been asked to perform at this event was just absolutely thrilling to me. So um, the people really enjoyed it. It was inter we. I had an impromptu performance with Teddy and John, you know. So I did my alley cover. And he really loved it. So he actually came on stage with me and we sang together. So that was an experience. Uh, you see, now these are the unplanned things that just unfolds and makes the yeah. night magical. Yes. Great. So what are you looking forward to next? Well, next I will be performing at Voices on the Bay. On and we will be there. Yes, what great. That, again? that is Wednesday, May 17th at Tappers. So that's my next event for the season. In all accounts, Jazz at Royalton was deemed a success. If you missed out, listen, you're going to have to wait for next year, but you just missed being part of history. Anyways, hopefully we got you up to speed with that. We'll be right back.